Hello, my name is Kara and I'm 27. And how I came to find out about Courtney and the Empowered Woman was through a YouTube video she did. Um, and at the bottom of it, there was like a little, the link to her website and I ventured over there and signed up for her newsletter. So <laughs> it's got some good shiz on there. Um, and um, how I ended up with um, one of her crystal wands was I have been living with a lot of pain and especially pelvic pain. And I was looking for tools to help me deal with that because a lot of the conventional things that I had tried just simply weren't doing anything I'd get to a certain point and then I couldn't really go any further so I got a little bit curious and decided on a um a rose quartz wand and I spent a few months after I got it just sitting with it and letting the energy kind of do like an exchange you know sort of getting used to the wand and just being with the wand and simply allowing it to um I guess infuse my energy with its energy and vice versa and I, I at very first I could not use it you know internally at all um so I did a lot of external work using pressure points and massage and um, working my way up to the internal stuff. Um, as I've progressed along, I've noticed that I still do have a lot of pain, but it isn't as bad. And things just aren't as bad, <laughs> basically. Um, I, it is, I still feel like there is a very long way for me to go with this, but I am starting to um, move forward with this and I am starting to see relief on a physical level so I'm not in as much pain. I know that I still have a very long way to go but I am hopeful that you know the more I do this the more I will um, progress and ultimately relieve a lot of the symptoms and tension that I'm carrying which Yay! Um, and so the things that I've noticed, you know, within doing this work is um, I've learned to be more present with my body and to tune in and really get a feel and a sense for what it is asking for and what it needs at any given point in time. Um, I've learnt to be a bit more embodied within because I has I'd spent a lot of time I guess trying to escape it because of the pain, which I guess in a sense was probably exacerbating it. So, <laughs> um, being able to come back into my body and experience the feelings, the sensations, the whatever it was that's going on has really afforded me the ability to um, be able to be more present in my life in general. And that within itself has been able to give me more confidence within myself and being able to trust my body again, rather than thinking it's against me or I'm fighting it or, um, you know, it's sort of like me versus it. It's sort of coming back together as a one whole being. And as a result of that, I've been able to feel the energy shifts as I work and do the work I feel I need to do at any given point in time. And it's also gifted me the ability to feel my feelings and to really get in touch with a part of myself that perhaps I, I've, I guess I've neglected, I've pushed away, I've thought was bad or wrong. Um, and um, 
I've also learnt to a huge lesson in comparison and to not do it. Um, <laughs> because when I first started out on this, you know, I'd read so many stories of you know all these different things for people happening and that wasn't happening for me and I got a very sort of down and out on myself and I started to think was I broken was there something wrong with me and then the more I sort of delved into this type of thing this um, work this process the more I realise that it's not about doing what everyone else is doing. It's not about, um, you know, what other... It's great to know what other people are doing, but I don't have to do that. It doesn't... If that's not right for me, then, you know, it's, it's, a, it's learning to be more in touch with myself and kind of going, okay, this is what I need. And that's great that that person over there is doing that. But, you know my journey is my journey and um, how that progresses is entirely perfect and right for me so I'm very grateful that I learnt that as well and learnt not to be so hard and negative and judgmental of all the different things that have come up all the different experiences I've had all the different um, ways things come out because sometimes you don't think you know you sort of think things should process in a certain way or I should be feeling this when I'm doing that when really it's it's no there's no hard and fast rules it's very much a personal thing and at any given point in time um you know whatever's going on is exactly as it needs to be so I've learned to um, listen to other people's stories and other people's experiences but then not take it on as what I should be doing but rather as kind of like a, not a guidepost but just kind of going, oh that's cool, that's happening for them but I'm cool with what I'm doing so I'm really grateful for that. Um, and I just feel a lot happier within myself too and just more connected and more me and I'm really grateful for that so yay <laughs> what I'd like other people to know or other women who may be experiencing what I have in the pelvic pain region of things or you know if you've been through trauma or abuse or anything like that if is if you are feeling called to delve into this more or explore it more trust that because um you know I've been through a lot of stuff and I felt very drawn to work with these ones and to you know for my own health and well-being and it felt right for me and I trusted that and I went with it and I have not regretted it one iota um there's nothing really you can lose from doing it, doing the work, doing, um, you know, having a try with these wands. I mean, if nothing else, they look beautiful. So, I mean, you could always just keep them as a beautiful thing in your home to beautify your space. But, um, you know, there's nothing really to lose and everything to gain. There's just so much potential for change if we are willing to take that courageous step to trust enough to just have a go. But there's so much great healing that has happened for me. And like I said, I'm very much, not necessarily at the start of my journey, I just think there's so much more potentiality to come. And I'm just trusting my body's instincts and letting it process what it needs to and I think you know if you are drawn to this there is a reason for it and to just go for it I mean there's nothing really to lose and everything to gain and yeah there's going to be some shit come up and slap you in the face and it's going to feel like shit but at the end of it you know 
there's so much more freedom that comes from that when you allow yourself to process what you need to and let the shit go. So I'd really recommend. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. It's not easy work, but it is well worth it. And I'm glad that I trusted my little hunch and went for it because where I was to where I'm now, where I am now, chalk and cheese. So, and I I like where I'm going, where I am now, and where I'm heading. It's going to be amazing for sure. But she does have so much free content, and it is so incredibly valuable. And um, it's so easy to digest. It's so easy to implement, and she, Courtney herself is so accessible and so available, and she is more than willing to help you if you have questions or concerns or worries. You can always reach out to her, and she's always just so loving and kind and generous with her um, information and sharing, and she's real, <laughs> like, you know she's walking her talk basically and she's putting you can see her putting in the work and doing the things she needs to do and you know she's always so willing and so able to just gift her knowledge and her wisdom to everyone and i think that's so amazing and um i like her approach to this sort of work as well in that it's not just physical body or it's not just spiritual body or it's not just the mind it's a combination of all those things and you know learning to you know bring together mind body spirit and then she also lays in the emotional body and she's always very honest about um, her experiences with that and um, I appreciate that because sometimes there, is, there are some teachers out there who like to put on that holier than thou or that not quite human front, <laughs> you know, they just kind of, oh, I'm a teacher and I don't feel the feels and I really love that she kind of goes, well, here's the shit storm I'm going through and here's what I'm learning, what I'm doing and... I really appreciate that and I think that's really awesome and she's always sharing new ideas, new products um, and making them available for like the wider audience as well which I think is really awesome. Um, yeah, I think that's about all from me so yeah, thanks for listening and uh, see you later. Bye!